What is going on guys, MJ2005 Gunnam here and today I'm going to be reviewing the high grade Mac knife from Gundam Reconquista NG. The space used successor of the elf Bullock, it has been downsized as much as possible to evade enemy fire and take them down with its high mobility. Coming with 9 runners, an action base and a moderate sticker sheet, the high grade Mac knife is quite loaded for a small kit with a small box. The build is also elementary for the runner count as well, making it more unique and even simpler to assemble than the contemporary high grade kits. Arguably, if you exclude the minimal cleanup you have to do thanks to the fine gate placement, this is one of the structurally simplest high grades out there. There are a few small parts here and there, but the build should generally come together with ease, no matter the level of skill. A straight assembly results in a sufficient representation of the Mac knife in high grade form. The signature weird aesthetics and lanky proportions are all translated, while the surface detail matches the animation line art. There aren't too many stickers either, as they're only used on the head and forearm sensors, chest detail, and a choice between the eyes or a blackened visor. Now, G Reco does have a tendency to design some main character units a bit too intricately, and the Mac knife is no exception. You'll have to paint the sensors on the forehead and cheeks, the armor recesses in the frame's color, the red on the leg grenades and backpack detail, and most notably the white on the fingers and the red fingernails. With how plain the kit looks as it is, I'd say it's more than necessary. Furthermore, speaking of the red, it is much too muted compared to the final animation line art, which results in a rather cheap aesthetic. And the ring on the waist should be in a light grey brown like the legs and collar. Being a separate piece, it baffles me as to why they didn't mold it with them in the first place. Needless to say, panel lining would also benefit the aesthetics heavily, while seam line removal is advised on all of the limb parts. The high grade Mac knife looks good fundamentally, but it is not a kit I would recommend displaying without at least filling in the missing details. Articulation starts with the ball jointed head with flexible range in the locked bottom ball joint. The shoulders are on polycap joints, while the arms can raise up perpendicularly. There's a bicep swivel, poor single jointed elbows, and a hinged wrist. The abs are on a hinged ball joint for flexible crunches, while it and the waist can both rotate. The legs can kick very far towards all directions. There's a thigh swivel, single jointed knees, and movable heel spurs. The articulation and solidity of the Mach knife is great for the most part, though the elbow and knee bends leave a lot to be desired. The one part that drives me up the wall though is the ring piece on the waist, as it loves to come loose and hang freely instead of staying in place. There are no substantial accessories with the Mach knife. Besides the flat open hands, the rectal area features opening hatches to access the separate photon bombs, which are absolutely minuscule yet finely detailed. The other accessory included is the booster pack, which has impressive part separation for the thrusters and some movement for the boosters and thrusters. It simply clips onto the backpack for use, and sadly this is too much for the little Mac Knight to stand on its own, so an action base is included to prop it up, with an adapter for it to sit into in mobile suit mode. Finally, the Mac Knight can simply unfold its arms and legs, and close up its heels to access the flight form, with a far more elaborate adapter with two adjustable axes via rearrangement to prop it up in this form. The backpack and booster pack each feature a removable panel for this purpose. While thankfully not considered a mobile armor mode, it's still a very forgettable transformation with the mobile suit essentially in a wingsuit flying pose. There is also a compact form achieved by rotating the legs backwards and posing the kit in the fetal position for storage in a transport container, yet another awkward and forgettable form. Lastly, it is worth noting that both of the adapters can be plugged onto regular action bases with the regular 3mm peg if you want to prop the kit up with your own. The case of the Mac knife is frankly a weird one. It's one of the more popular entries of the high grade G Reco line and the definitive mask mobile suit. I scrambled to get one no matter the price, and after building it, I was reminded of why I passed up the build's copy I saw before. On the surface, it's a decent representation of the Mac knife, and while articulation and hand options may be lacking in parts, the overall playability and the gimmicks are there, while the multiple aerial display options are very much appreciated. Though, besides the anemic red, the source material is completely overdone, resulting in a straight build you do not want to leave as is. The awkward body shape and restrictive bends might prove detrimental as some poses, 
and the lack of hand options to vary the firing poses limits display options beyond standard kicks or the rather forgettable alternate modes. Ultimately, the high-grade Mac knife has a very restricted appeal for various reasons, and is a more intriguing kit than it is good. Though if you get it with the intents to put in the efforts, its strength of being one of a kind will definitely shine. And that's all for me. Thank you for watching, drop a like and comment if you did enjoy the video, subscribe for more content like this, and feel free to follow me on social media with the links down below. That said, take it easy, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out guys, Bye bye